years. He wears a Lindsay Lohan bracelet on his <laughs> yeah. uh, on a, a GPS bracelet. And if the court rules against him, if the court rules for him, he will be retried in most li- likely, unless the prosecutors come to their senses and prosecute the real murders. If they rule against him, he will serve out the rest of his term, which is 25 well, to life. Well, this book will help that, certainly. Yeah, it's called it's Framed, Why Michael Skakel Spent Over a Decade in Prison for a Murder He Didn't Commit. I have one final question. If there is a retrial, would is that guy willing to, um, is the guy you spoke to who said he was waiting 27 years for that phone call, is he willing to come and testify? He will definitely testify if they offer him immunity, which is what they should do. Okay. But at this point, he's saying, I'm taking the fifth if they offer him immunity. But he already told his whole story on tape, and that tape is admissible. So, you know, we don't need him to testify, sure. but, a, but an honest prosecutor would offer him immunity and then, you know, prosecute the two guys who actually murdered Martha Moxley. Well, we just got this book last night, which is why we didn't read it, but uh, this seems fascinating. <laughs> um so, you know, good luck to you with this. And uh, hopefully yeah, now that you've you turned I, me around I, 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 I want to say the book was embargoed. Nobody was allowed to see it till today. So oh, wow. Oh, oh that's wow. Well, Okay, cool. I'm glad I didn't lie. You have a written excuse for not doing your homework. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be a fascinating read, though. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah Robert is really fun. Jr. Thanks, Robert. Uh, thanks, Robert. You, you want to wrap up, Jimmy? We good? Uh, we can come back and do it if you want. Uh, we'll come back and wrap up. Uh, stay there. Oh, my God. What just that's happened in this studio? It's... Oh, wow. I hope you're, you're wow. still tuning in. So we close. have Robert. Wow. Uh, E-Rock. I'm stunned. I, I love you. And that, I'm no, telling no, 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 you, whatever, that was wrong. I'm that telling was you, terrible. You, you had the worst timing probably I've ever seen. So close. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. just is opening up about the Kennedy assassination. He's convinced that JFK was absolutely done in by a lot of different, uh, 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 well, how, how would you say it, uh, different uh, different, entities, say different forces. Yeah. Different Certain. forces. And he's really getting into it. And he's like, fuck the rest of my press. He's really in the moment. He's telling us. And then E-Rock out of nowhere goes, One minute, we're back! (laughs) One minute, we're back! And then Robert F. Kennedy Jr. goes, Anyway, and walks out. Take care, guys. Now, I know we have a job to do, and E-Rock has a responsibility. But at that point, Travis would just end the show. Fuck it. The, the nephew yeah, I mean, of JFK is talking... The son of Robert Kennedy, the attorney general at the time, is talking about the murder and, and what might be a play. And he had a lot of it was stuff we'd already heard. But, but it was not read beyond that fascinating. Go, like, maybe we should just go to a bit. You'll probably have another chance to talk to a Kennedy. About or, this. or just end the show at that point. Who cares? Like, yeah. We were just coming we back for stupid plugs. We were just coming back for stupid plugs. Your timing was unbelievable. I've never oh. seen any. I mean, and his voice is shitty, so he's kind of like he's struggling to up. try to tell us. He did have other press to do, and he wasn't going to stay for an hour. But the fact that he was so he was really into that was very about engaging. It. His voice got very clear there for Holy a second. Oh, yeah, boy, does he have a it lot was of almost people to blame. like it was almost like you were ready to have a threesome with two tens, and your friend walks in, and goes, "Hey, your wife called. The kids are crying. She wants you home." And, and the all girls we hear just is, and the girls walk away. All we hear is one minute and you're back, <laughs> and, yeah. and the chicks just here. leave. Pick that as his his uh, he's got to get out of here. And yeah, just like, literally, literally walked out without saying goodbye. It's like when there's snow everywhere and you choose to drink piss, brother. That's what it's like. <laughs> I think he was a bit insulted. Actually, no, he, I, he I, just, I just told him, hey, so he goes, we had to leave anyway. He said goodbye, yeah, and, right? But <laughs> but he was talking about the CIA and oh this my is, god, this is not just Bay of Pigs did. and oh. all these all these all the wow, yeah. <laughs> Johnson, he's ref. Lyndon B. Johnson, <laughs> Alan Dulles. <laughs> yeah, who talks about Alan Dulles? He's talking about Alan Dulles. He's talking. Do about you understand how names. terrible that was? I don't care. You it, should care. No, either do it on the air or don't say we're coming back. And if you want to continue a conversation. Uh, oh, uh, during the no, break. No, no, say, to, wave it off and to, say we're done. Sometimes we're talking life, about the JFK assassination. Sometimes in life you have to realize that you fucked up. And not, I know that technically you have a job to I'm do. I'm not it. saying I didn't fuck up. Here, that's but I'm also is. not saying I, I, I don't. To not care understand. Why you're upset on that. I think you was, should understand. You should care to understand what, what the implication of Robert Kennedy's son right. really discussing the Kennedy assassination. Right. Things that he's not saying publicly. To he, not understand. Hey, this is a moment that was not planned. He actually said to us, uh, "I would never say his on the air." He, I guess he doesn't want to get, get go right. down but the then, rabbit hole publicly. But certainly, we would uh, discuss the conversation we were having with him. I, I felt like he was getting to the moment where he was going to say, "I feel like." Blank did this. Yeah. And, I mean, then, yeah. and then all I hear is one minute and you're back. Because you have been saying two minutes, one minute, oh. we're back. <laughs> he had beautiful eyes, too. Gorgeous eyes. I'm yeah, stunned. Like fucking gems. I'd love to have one of his eyes, dude. Yeah.
I'd put one of his eyes in my mouth, bro. It was beautiful. And you couldn't have gotten to say that. This isn't, wasn't like a typical thing where, hey, it was an actor talking mm. about that girl he fucked. This was one of those things where, again, I, I, he doesn't want to say it all publicly because he probably doesn't know yeah. who killed him. He wasn't speculating on who killed him. <laughs> it wasn't like it, it wasn't that like he was about to go, and I think it was. Right. But it was just the idea that a guy this close to that event and that this involved in it with this much knowledge mm -hmm. of it was saying things that I hadn't been thinking. So I was certainly willing to listen to it. Oh my God! You got a Kennedy telling, oh, talking about his Rob, uncle. No, not obsessed. a Kennedy. Robert Kennedy <laughs> right. Junior. Well, he did preface. That's my uncle. So. Yeah. He said my uncle. Like my he was about to dead. pull like some black and white photos out of his breast pocket. That's do what you, it seemed like. Do you always like to hear someone say, "And and so and so hated my uncle." Yes, which he did say. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like, "Holy <laughs> fuck! This is amazing." Not he didn't find it amazing. Ugh. Why didn't you find that? I, I think the, I don't, the best thing he should have done is probably whispered in your ear, oh, said, "Hey, we get, we'll come back in a we minute." Just so back. you could have made that decision. Said, "What do you want?" We didn't even have to come back. We we're coming back just to get dumb plugs in. Okay, that was oh. the only reason we were coming back. We could have easily ended the show after the Robert F. Kennedy Jr. interview. He knows a lot too. You can tell. Oh, he is angry, man. He's a CIA, yeah. Bay of Pigs. We'll never get that chance again. <laughs> oh, the mafia. Oh, you can smell the gunpowder on his breath. Trained killers, Fidel Castro. This is the stuff this guy's telling us. And again, whether or not he's right or wrong, who knows? Because I mean, again, he might not be. He may not be right just because he's Kennedy's son. But to hear him discuss it, it's a moment in time you'll never get again. Never, ever. I would. Uh, I. I would have blown off the rest of the day. Everything Without else had been on hold. That's a moment to where you got in that conversation. And you, his cologne, too. Do you smell his cologne? I, you have to I was look too busy that looking into his and dreamy hear that eyes. And <laughs> know that dreamy. there's something. Whirlpools. Whirlpools. <laughs> of truth. <laughs> you could have played a bit there, and you know that. A bit could have been played there. What, what, you said we were going to come back. Why couldn't you have just played a bit? I don't get it. Eric, right, what's up? Well, well, why don't you too. care about I mean, how this? do you not think of that? I'm not, even, you're, I'm not shitting all over you, but I don't. I can't wrap my head around it. Beautiful eyes. Okay, fair enough. I fucked up. There but, you go. but wouldn't you? I don't know. All mm. right. I mean, I, I would have just at that point said the, the guy's got this. Fuck it. If Travis ended the show or played a bit, who cares? Soft it, voice. We have a Kennedy. Ten thirty-seven. We have a Kennedy talking about Murder, his uncle's everything. assassination. No, we don't care. We have Robert yeah. Kennedy Jr. I mean, well, I said so uncle. Close. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah I mean, you could that smell the espionage on him, bro. You could smell it if you were right over right here. Wow. He wasn't going to, again, we didn't, there's not anything we just, missed it information. Was just it was just fascinating. To hear his take on it. Yes, to hear somebody that close to it discuss it. So you could have just ended the show with like a bit and that, oh, not yeah. ever come back? The yeah. Cubans, the Mafia, yeah. Train Killer, CIA, oh. Fidel Castro, with that voice, and we're just like, we're all just, and then none of us is speaking, we're none just of staring at the guy. I was asking him a couple of questions yeah. like about this or that. Well, Jimmy was uh, leading a little but, bit. But just like, just like, yeah. hey, to do, th yeah, and they yeah. let him talk. Yeah. And I, I asked him about Earl Warren. I went to, you know, Earl Warren, talks about Earl Warren. Now I'm the, all these names that you know from this thing. Johnson. Mm -hmm. And none of it was said that like we didn't hadn't heard before, but it was still just fascinating to hear. Yeah. And uh, sometimes in a moment, man, there's a, a weird thing that happens where by doing it, like you said, you break a spell. Well, you, 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 you there's these weird moments you have where you, you're not going to... He was in the moment. Something is broken. He knew he had to leave. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't care. He was really enjoying just talking to us about it. He was yeah. enjoying it. He wasn't saying anything to be quoted for the, mm -hmm. you know, literally. Uh, do you, do you it was have, a special. Do you, yeah. you don't have a rock to turn the cameras off? That would be hilarious. Because <laughs> here, one minute and we're talking. <laughs> exactly. And then Robert F. Kennedy Jr. just <laughs> walking out. <laughs> And he was Why? like, I wouldn't say this on air. That's what he said. Remember that? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't have played anything he said anyway because oh, again, no, no, he was but talking privately. No, I wouldn't do that to him. But the moment where Iraq e just yells, one minute and we're back, and yeah, then this no, guy just hustles out immediately and just drops everything he was yeah, saying. Yeah, no, he was right in mid-sentence and he left. <laughs> He Maybe he felt bad, like, because he kind of shut it down when we were interviewing because he God. wanted to get to the books. And that, then he said, all right, L off the air, I'm going to tell you." You know guys. what I was thinking at that moment? And I'm not even joking. I'm like, thank God Tony Robbins was in here to help Jimmy with his anger issues. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I think it would have played out a little different. It's not, even, it's, it's not even anger, really. It's more just I am i don't know how to process it. Yeah. I'm not mad at Iraq. I love Iraq. I'm Look, just I, I don't know how to Look process. at the smile on Roland's face. See this is see <laughs> yeah. this is why I'm this is why I'm sick. I, I think it's the best thing that ever happened to God. You gotta focus. In a twisted way, I think it was oh my god. Nah, it's uh, stuck. We have the audio? You gonna be okay, Jimmy? Tools is running. 
Oh, can we play go list? Uh, really oh, you do fast. have the audio. We have the audio, so we can put it up the, so, the picture. No, but play right now. It takes a while to eject. Oh it my god! All right, we'll play it tomorrow. Wait, Pro, we have the audio of what? It's on a totally different computer. It, it okay, records. watch the audio come back we, all edited and right, look, adjusted. Can we get it tomorrow? But yeah, I, I'm, I agree with Jimmy. He was playing. Uh, he was talking about this in private, so I don't want to like uh, nothing he said. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if you beep something or whatever, just I need the setup though of him like in the middle of talking, and then Eric just uh, we'll figure something out. Can we just? I, I would almost per, rather just play E Rock saying I, I literally don't want to play one. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to play one second of. Anything he said in private, like yeah. not even, not even an incidental word. There's something yeah. violating about it. All right, I would rather just have. You just want the drop because literally, not because literally, he was saying it so privately mm -hmm. that I feel it's a violation, even if it's even if it's one word. Yeah, we just want the audio of your monumental fuck up. We just yeah. yeah. All I want is E Rock. The one minute and then him walking out, and you're like, e what are you doing? Yeah, like that. You're yeah. like the Lee Harvey of conversations, well, bro. What made it great too was because you know his voice. Oh, he's wow. talking a little lower because yeah. that's how he could you know have a conversation. And then E Rock's booming. One minute and we're back. Oh yeah, it was prison. It was prison. Wow. Yeah, that was Shawshank stuff. What do you think, Theo? Were you shocked when he popped in with that? Oh, I thought it. I thought we were gonna get somewhere, dude. I could see the past to kind of flow. Even if we didn't, it was just fascinating. That was beautiful. It was, it was a, one of those moments where you're like, "Holy fuck!" You got, uh, you know. And he Robert felt F. different. Kennedy you Jr. could tell he felt Uncle more chill, Jim. comfortable. He, he felt like he was just talking because we asked a yeah. couple of questions where he knew that we had read up on the assassination and sure. we're asking legitimate questions about it. Um, God. I mean, oh, I, I so just, close! I, I just don't know how to. Certain things in life happen mm -hmm. where you're just not sure what to do with it. Like wrestling, like professional wrestling. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Tony Robbins said. Go home and lay down and three, think of three things that you're grateful for. Yeah, yeah, I have been by this for five hours. Here's See, what, I learned. Here's what Tony Robbins would say. <laughs> I would test the pop quiz. If I, if I said to t Tony, you know, what do you do in this situation right now? He would say, you have to feel better. Strangle that idiot. <laughs> he has a 90-second rule in the house. 90 seconds, you have to move on and get over it. Does he really? Yeah, that's what he was saying cool. earlier. Yeah, that's what Tony was saying. If there's family problems, when's the last arguing. time Tony talked to Robert Kennedy about the assassination <laughs> of his uncle? <laughs> oh my God! That wow, was... Iraq is really in the dumps. So I feel bad now, man. And why do you say I don't care at first? You should care a lot. Yeah, that's a like, really you, strange. You should, to me. Not that you should cry about that's it. That's really strange. But you to should me. care. Like you should go. Wow, that was something that was kind of really very very but the unique. Millennials, he's no, millennial. I didn't read it all. No, I'm not no a he's. He said, I don't care because he had a job to do to get the show back. Nah, but he didn't care right. because he, it was, but that's no, one no, thing. No, Ope's, Ope's right, because I knew you guys were in the moment, and I knew you weren't going to be paying attention. I knew we only had one break left, so I was pretty much watching Travis the, the entire time too late. Oh, you guys Travis's know. fault. But you no, should it's just not Travis's, Travis's fault, fault at all. I, I had plenty of stuff ready to go in case you guys were, were wow. continuing to talk. Yeah, well, they should have played. No, the interns never start the recording, so we what? don't have Pro Tools either. What? We didn't. Pro Tools was not started this morning, so we don't have the audio of that either. I told you immediately. Why Where did I tell Pro you? Tools it's a cover started. up. I don't know. I guess they forgot. Wow. It's the so worst. Well, who's supposed to tell the interns to do wait, that? Wait, interns are responsible for turning Pro on Pro, Pro, Pro yeah, Tools? They record. And who's supposed to tell them to do that or no? Well, I was telling them to do it. They didn't do it this morning, but I knew it. the intern boss is seated right behind you. How come you didn't tell him to turn it? Because I didn't think of that. I don't usually deal with the Pro Tools, but, you know, everybody, I guess it's all our faults. Cover up. No, not cover up. It's just... I no, not from you. I'm just saying overall. There's Kennedy's, everything. Uh, immediately, the audio is going. I'm not taking blame. I'm, I'm getting the Warren Report uh, going. Me and Florentine we'll are getting haircuts today, aren't we, That's Florentine? Right. <laughs> That's right. I'm, I'm paying for mine now. Okay. Give me your bangs. <laughs> <laughs> no, bangs over Brooklyn he's taking me to. That's where I want to go. I want to go to Long Island. That's where you told the in turn Jersey and then why didn't they turn it on when you told them to oh I tell them to turn it start it up every day there has been some difficulties where they've walked in they've started but today they didn't mm -hmm. check it at all so it, none of it was recorded that happens see I want to go watch porn now this is a problem man. really I'm gonna go eat breakfast instead this will uh, lead you to porn I just feel like yeah you hit some moments in the day I'll be fine Oh my god, that was just beyond amazing how that all just went down. Beautiful eyes, that guy, though. Do you see Gorgeous. that? Gorgeous! My god, like an infinity pool. Makes you hate the rich. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was in the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. Fuck. You know yeah, what? You sunken ships. He, he, he had sunken ships in his eyes. I'll be really honest. And, and uh, it's not... I just Googled 
uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. discusses JFK assassination. Mm -hmm. RFK Jr., my father was convinced rogue CIA killed his brother. So he has discussed this before. So it was, it was still oh, a yeah. shitty time. No, no, but I'm saying it wasn't like we oh, had yeah. this moment that no one else has ever... You know, it was just interesting to hear him talking. Oh, I, know, I had no doubt that he, he probably discussed it before, but we were just fortunate but, enough to have him discussing it to us uh, personally. But Pro Tools being off, like the fact that... that well, the like, interns were working on something else this morning. Of course. What they were, were they working on? I think they were working on audio, right? Yeah. They were cutting show audio. For okay. our show, though? Yeah. Are you sure? Best of. What are oh, okay. you doing? What are yeah. I'm just saying. Were they cutting our show, though? Yeah. Okay. Because interns have been cutting other shows before. Wait, wait, mm -hmm. wait what other shows? Wait, I, I learned from Tony Robbins today. I know what's going on. This is more about the posters than anything else today, isn't <laughs> it? What, now, Paul, what do you say? There's, there's I've a seen interns cutting other shows during the time when our show is on air. Espionage. I have seen that. But see, they're having an issue about posters. It has nothing to do with uh, interns. And what kind of posters? Uh, there might have been some posters that were taken down. Ghostbusters posters? And Iraq's very mad at Paul about it. <laughs> and there might have been some text messages going back and forth, according to Paul. What happened? Someone was a little frustrated that I took down the comic book posters off the <laughs> office walls. <laughs> oh. Someone was just a little frustrated and got a little texty last night. But then I walk in this morning, and I don't. how am I supposed to know the date or protect myself in the rain when my umbrella and calendar have been ripped and thrown out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well. Yay, Paul has a bit. What, Eric? I said, yeah, you got it. Oh, you're here? You're not at Comic-Con or working on your show right now? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay, that's good to know. We'll see you at Comic-Con next week, though, right? Right, thanks for listening. Have fun. Wow. Wow. Beef. Well, beef, it's about the posters. I told you. There's always something underneath. I did learned you, that from Tony Robbins. But did you know they were Eric's posters and he probably wanted them up? Why'd yeah, you take yeah them why down? would you take his posters Because they're down? stupid to hang up in a fucking office. Like Jim <laughs> said with Piff the Magic Dragon, it's not a fucking fort. It's not a fucking fishbowl either where everyone has to view you That's why we have our fucking wall. banners up with the logo of the uh, channel up. Mm -hmm. Like everybody also, else down there. Also, my thing. office before it was your office, and if I want to <laughs> hang shit up, I'll hang shit up. All right, that's fine. I think and I took them down. If they get hung back up again, I'll take them back down again. They were perfectly rolled, and I got a text, Who the fuck do you think you are touching my shit? You're yeah, going to have a big exactly. problem tomorrow. And it was that a threat? And you're like, what's the company going to think with taking down posters? They were neatly rolled, Eric. Relax. Calm down. Okay, you're, you're, done, with your wrestling post you're your done with your wrestling posters. You're done with your promo here? Because no, I'm just you saying. You didn't tell me about it. You never told me you took it down. Yeah, I because, found out after because the if fact. I would have told you, you would have said, "Don't touch my fucking shit." All right. this fucking shit. You flip out all the time. You never say something stuff. calm, cool, and collective. How an OM is supposed to act. This is what we hushed Kennedy for. No, this is, I wasn't bringing any of this. Did he take up. care of your umbrella like you took care of his posters? No, he threw them out. <laughs> And then in rage, he threw them out in a rage yesterday because he was having a little hissy fit, a little bitch fit. Yep. And then this morning I walk in, and guess what? The fucking calendar is up with tape all over it. Like he neatly picked it out of the garbage and pieced it together. Yeah, I felt bad. <laughs> you take this calendar back. <laughs> Wait, you ripped up his calendar? Wow. Well, I kind of swatted kind of at it, was when, it? I, when it. It's, it's a dumb hockey calendar. It's and a Flyers I, calendar. Swatted at it when I was pissed, and then <laughs> when it hit the uh, like swatting where the, at airplanes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it, it pretty much ripped in half when when I swatted at it because it was taped to his cabinet, and uh, I just grabbed and threw it out. And uh, then later I found out that he didn't rip down the posters. He because I had no idea. No, because I'm what a fucking happened. professional. You're also an idiot, but uh, okay. Took well, down the, you, well the next creative post decision post you make is what fucking Funkos to put on your fucking Instagram. Why is it, okay. or how many fucking uh, lemons to put in your fucking iced tea for his executive are you decision? Jealous? <laughs> What's wrong here? No, nothing's wrong. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing's wrong. You're, I'm, you're I'm really perfectly making, fine. You have because you sent me a text anger. yesterday. You sent me a text yesterday saying, "Who the fuck took down my posters?" Right, and I said, exactly. "Guess what? I did." And then, who the fuck do you think you are to touch my shit? The company is going to this, this, and this. You're going to be in real trouble tomorrow. Guess what, Eric? I'm not. The posters were neatly put down and taken away. Nobody and then you had a hissy that. bitch fit. I'm. Oh, let's see what the company has to say about property damage. Oh, shit. Okay. Not good. Go ahead. Not good. So the uh, the, the interns. I, I, would, I wouldn't call a flyer's uh, calendar a property damage right. if he ripped a little corner. But on. how am I supposed to protect myself from the rain with my umbrella 
gone. Put one what of his posters with the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do with the umbrella? Hey, I don't know. It's disappeared. Where, that wasn't where, neatly taped. Where's Drake? the umbrella, Eric? It was in the garbage. Yeah, was it a nice umbrella? Uh, it was like a black and white umbrella. I don't even use it. You can always drink your urine if it gets bad in the rain, I, it, brother. I, it was. Uh, I know? grabbed it because where the calendar landed and the pages were, I just picked it all up and the umbrella was there. I threw it all in the garbage so, can. So the uh, let me ask you the question: the interns were working on best stuff for the show mm -hmm. today. Yeah. Okay, so they weren't working on Eric showing the show. They were doing. No, but I've show. seen them before working on Eric's show during show hours. Yeah, well, when you need to have them do something, they can't just be sitting around doing nothing. So I give them. Uh, <laughs> Well, friends they be working show, the phones show, instead of having stuff. Travis back in there working the phones the whole time. Yeah, isn't there stuff uh, they could be doing for the yeah. show, though, even if they're and not? one of them has been on the phones today. I've been told that they've never worked on your audio. Okay. Who's saying they never worked on so, your audio? Sorry, Paul. They, they are. No, I've I've seen well, it, though. But the I've interns are now it. saying that they've never no, worked not on this, No, not these interns, but other interns I've past seen the, working. Past oh, interns. okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Iraq, is it true or is it a lie? I give them, constantly give them stuff to do, otherwise they're sitting around here doing nothing and we have to justify them doing something. Have they ever prepared your iced tea for you? <laughs> Every morning. It's the Warren, <laughs> it's the Warren Commission now. <laughs> we were going to end the show. <sighs> yeah, this is great. If we just ended the show, we would still be talking to Robert uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. In, in, in about well, these it's 10.50, so, it's it's so you have one minute to end. One minute to end. We have, uh, you know, it's funny, I, I feel better about it now since I've looked up on Google and realized he's disgusted. It's, you know, I, I, I didn't think that. he was going to give us any secrets. It was just an interesting moment to have. You know what? He you're, could you're right. You're right. Looking back at it and, uh, and understanding your, uh, your reasoning for it, I, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I fucked up. Are, are you a bit jaded because uh, there's so many famous people that come through here? It's not every day a Kennedy comes through here. When, um, I, when I see... When I see a Kennedy sitting down, I'm like, holy fuck. Right away, right? You're just like, I that's found like, like royalty But those in this guys country. are very easy to talk to because there's so much Great family history. and so They're all good talkers. Yes. And this case is so famous. So oh, it was very easy to interview. It was, it was just... I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't really give a fuck about the case or the book, but how he uh, described it, I, sure. I think I want to read this thing now. It's interesting. He really uh, put it uh, on the table. Handsome guy, I thought. Yeah. Handsome, those eyes. Oh, the skin, too. Like no, a beach. The Just nose like a was a little fucked up, though. You noticed that, right? Yeah, but I didn't... A little fucked up. I could barely see it. Because you were too busy on the eyes? I was lost in there. He's... Like wizard eyes. I can barely hear you guys just talking in the distance. I was so deep in them. <laughs> Theo's going to be masturbating later. <laughs> well, hey, to this show, though, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. to uh, JFK, I'm going to go watch JFK. <laughs> all right, well, that took a fucking uh, crazy turn. All right, well, so, Iraq, Paul, a good place or no? I'm fine. I think they're in a good place. Cool. I never have a problem. Paul's very even keeled. Yes. Huh. All right. Robert F. Kennedy uh, Jr., thank you. The book's called Framed. I'm going to read this, but I'm glad there was an embargo on it. We didn't get That was why. No wonder. We got so much stuff, though, man. I can't wait I, to read this. I had to go watch Ghostbusters because we got him coming in tomorrow. We got uh, Who's Paul coming Fee. tomorrow? Uh, uh, what? Paul Feig. Paul Feig yeah, tomorrow. Paul Feig. And uh, yeah, then we did the Tony Robbins documentary. That was and, good. Yeah. All right, Florentine, what do you got? Let's go around the table. God damn it, I wish we had you uh, breaking in. Though. I wish we had that moment. My latest special, I'm Your amazing. Savior, is on iTunes now. Are all, were all the cameras off? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always told him. I thought that was kind of me a while ago. I, I was like, I think I was very adamant. Not that Paul's leaving mom, but just yeah, we time. always have to have them all. It's again, it's a fucking invasion of people's private shit. But now I'm really regretting that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm really uh, regretting that. I just think that was hilarious. They were both great guests, man. There was yeah. Tony Robbins was awesome, and Robert. And you guys are great today, great. man. Theo yeah, and uh, Florentine. Yeah, I didn't awesome. count you guys. Oh, Florentine, made it what do you got, buddy? Um, I'm your savior. My latest yes. special is on iTunes now. You can get it there. Funny Bone in Omaha next week, July 21 through 24, and uh, July 20, Hard Rock Casino, Sioux City, Iowa. JimFlorentine.com for everything. Jim Florentine. Uh, Jimmy, what do you got, buddy? Just uh, the uh, UFC podcast with Matt Serra, and uh, my looks like Minneapolis and... Toronto, I'm sorry, Pittsburgh, I'll have a date for you tomorrow exactly as to when they're going to be. I think in September we're pushing them to the fall, okay. which will be perfect because I'm going to be shooting again um, hopefully early October. So I'll announce that very soon once the date is locked in. So I'm just leading up to another shoot. Nice. Um, and I also got uh, Columbus and Toronto coming up. 
Theo Vaughn. Yeah. You Are you in town all week? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to be in town next couple of days. I will right, we'll try to get you in one more day because we don't see you uh, around these parts too often. Yeah, you don't. I appreciate it, man. Good to see you guys today. All right. What do you got? Uh, I'll be in uh, Naples um, August 4th through 8th, New York here, Gotham s- September 2nd and 3rd, and Dallas uh, September 15th through 18th. That's it. Addison Improv. D-Rock, final word to you. Uh, you can catch my show Friday, 6 I p.m. Didn't Eastern. I want to plug. Uh, oh, wow. rock I wanted to go fuck yourself or something. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, you know, we can catch. Oh, Jim sure. made a valid point, and I've uh, seen the error of my way. Jack Ruby. I don't like the way you sing- made singular way, like it was only one error. He said, I've seen the error of my way. It's ways. Of that rock. particular uh, way. Uh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> only one at a time. I'm not only- excusing everything else. Just one at that a time. particular I think segment. that one should have been so obvious. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That there was a moment going on. Well, you got a story for the ages now. Like cologne. I wish we had the audio of you just belting out one minute a tour <laughs> back. Yeah. And, God, the, and it. the killer is. Oh, I know. <laughs> one <laughs> minute. I could almost make out the silhouette of whoever it was up there. Right. One minute. Oh <laughs> that that well, hearing we might have had that audio made me very happy. <laughs> What made me very happy, Jim Norton did not know what to do with himself for about a minute there. When he, he rocked, was pacing, he did, then yeah. he went out the he door, walked then out he the came door, back, came back in, in like a did, Jackie Gleason. He move. didn't fucking know what to do with himself when for, he for said about one, a minute there. One minute and we're back, Robert Kennedy Jr. was out of the door within three seconds. Yeah, he was, he was from, out the door. I, uh, Mid sentence, basically. Yeah. I went. I, 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 no, I just grabbed him as he was walking away. I said, "Hey, thank you for coming." Right. He's like, "Yeah, yeah." He was fine. Can you imagine that guy's life he's had? Probably. Well, you read the sheet. Unbelievable. Yeah. Exactly. A little heroin action in there. Law and, uh, school. All sorts London. Of stuff. Harvard. Really, really, yeah, an amazing life. Just the thread count on his bed sheets. Can you even fathom the sea of comfort he sleeps in? <laughs> <laughs> or was raised in. That's right. A little different Slaves, than Europe. probably. A little different than up, your upbringing? Yeah. A little bit. Although they have a lot of problems, too, man. You got that kind of money. Ken, these, there's all that weird stuff that comes with that. Again, like you said, heroin. Look at John Jr., I mean, again, a, a privileged life, but you know, he had to fly private because people bugged him on flights. But talking about how wonderful his father was, like he just wants to be left alone and relax. Right. Yeah. People like me coming up. To also, him. a tragedy in that family too, man. That's a lot take of it. Toll. I would yeah. love to really talk to him. I mean, the pressure of uh, going into politics. He never really did it. He's he, uh, he sort of a little bit here and there, but you get everyone looking at you, going, "You're you're supposed to be the next one." Maybe because they looked had at him for a while. Like, you're you're going to be the yeah. next one in the family that really goes for it in politics. We well, probably had a lot yeah. of skeletons too. Like they said, that diary got leaked, right? Um, which I think is disgusting that they printed some of his diary. New York it's Post, repulsive. right? Who, his diary. Got yeah. stolen. That was the post again, right? Oh, it's wow. so repulsive yeah. that they printed some of that oh. private stuff. Yeah, there you go. New York Post. But for vulture. Hey, the only time that's relevant is if, if, is if it, it, it's detailing corruption or something you've done that affected you, the way you deal with the public. Then it's relevant information. But if it's just you fucking different girls, that's fucking sick. He sickening. wrote about it in his diaries. Sick and then, uh, the post decided, let's. Uh, let's uh, print this shit up. How repulsive. Mm. I wonder if they'd do that if it was Rupert Murdoch stuff. Fuck no. All right, guys. Ever seen. So close. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. just is opening up about the Kennedy assassination. He's convinced that JFK was absolutely done in by a lot of different, uh, 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 well, how, how would you say it, uh, different, uh, different entities. Say different forces. Yeah. Different Certain. forces. And he's really getting into it. And he's like, fuck the rest of my press. He's really in the moment. He's telling us. And then E-Rock out of nowhere goes, one minute, we're back. (laughs) One minute, we're back. And then Robert F. Kennedy Jr. goes, anyway, and walks out. Take care, guys. Now, I know we have a job to do, and E-Rock has a responsibility. But at that point, Travis would just end the show. Fuck it. The the nephew of JFK is talking, the son of Robert Kennedy, the attorney general at the time, is talking about the murder and and what might be a play. And a lot of it was stuff we'd already heard. But, but it's not read that and fascinating. Go, like maybe we should just go to a bit. You'll probably have another chance to talk to a Kennedy. About or, this. or just end the show at that point. Who cares? Like, yeah. We were just coming we back for stupid plugs. We were just coming back for stupid plugs. Your timing was unbelievable. I've never oh. seen any. I mean, and his voice is shitty, so he's kind of like he's struggling to up. try to tell us. He and, did have other press to do, right. and he wasn't going to stay for an hour. But the fact that he was so he was really into that talking was very about engaging. It. His voice got very clear there for Holy a second. Oh, yeah, boy, does he have a it lot was of almost people like, to blame. It was almost like you were ready to have a threesome with two tens, and your friend walks in, goes, "Hey, your wife called. The kids are crying. She wants you home." And, and the all girls we hear just, is, and the girls walk away. All we hear is one minute, and you're back, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and the chicks just leave. 
Dave picked that as his his uh, he's got to get out of here. And yeah, just like, literally, literally walked out without saying goodbye. It's like when there's snow everywhere and you choose to drink piss, brother. That's what it's <laughs> like. I think he was a bit insulted. Actually, no, he, I, he I, just, I just told him, hey, so he goes, we had to leave anyway. He said goodbye, yeah, and, right? But <laughs> but he was talking about the CIA and oh this my is, god, this is not just someone who pigs did. and oh. all these all the. Wears a Lindsay Lohan bracelet on his <laughs> yeah. uh, on a, a, a GPS bracelet, and if the court rules against him, if the court rules for him, he will be retried, and most li likely, unless the prosecutors come to their senses and prosecute the real murders. If they rule against him, he will serve out the rest of his term, which is 25 well, to life. Well, this book will help that, certainly. Yeah, it's called it's Frame. Why Michael Skakel spent over a decade in prison for a murder he didn't commit. I have one final question. If there is a retrial, would is that guy willing to, um, is the guy you spoke to who said he was waiting 27 years for that phone call, is he willing to come and testify? He will definitely testify if they offer him immunity, which is what they should do. Okay. But at this point, he's saying, I'm taking the fifth if they offer him immunity. But he already told his whole story on tape, and that tape is admissible. So, you know, we don't need him to testify, sure. but, a, but an honest prosecutor would offer him immunity and then, you know, prosecute the two guys who actually murdered Martha Moxley. Well, we just got this book last night, which is why we didn't read it, but uh, this seems fascinating. <laughs> um, so, you know, good luck to you with this. And uh, yeah, hopefully, no, now that you've you turned me around, I, 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 I want to say the book was embargoed. Nobody was allowed to see it till today. So oh, wow. Oh, oh, that's wow. Well, okay, cool. I'm glad I didn't lie. You have a written excuse for not doing your homework. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be a fascinating read, though. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. Robert is really Eddie fun. Jr. Thanks, Robert. Uh, thanks, man. You want to wrap up, Jimmy? We're good? Uh, we can come back and do it if you want. Uh, we'll come back and wrap up. Uh, stay there. Oh, my God, what just That's happened in this studio. It's oh, wow. I hope you're, you're wow. still tuning in. So we close. have Robert. Wow. Uh, E-Rock. I'm stunned. I, I love you. And that, I'm no, telling no, no, you, whatever, that was wrong. I'm that telling you, terrible. You, you had the worst timing probably I've ever Junior. Seen. Well, he did preface, that's my uncle. So. Yeah. He said my uncle. Like my he was uncle's about to dead. pull like some black and white photos out of his breast pocket. That's do what you, it seemed like. Do you know what it's like to hear someone say, and and so-and-so hated my uncle? Yes, which he did say. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like, holy <laughs> fuck, this is amazing. Not, he rock didn't find it amazing. Ugh. Why didn't you find that? I, I think the, I don't... Be, the best thing he should have done is probably whispered in your ear, and said, "Hey, we get, we'll come back in a we minute." Just coming so back. you could have made that decision. Said, what do you want? We didn't even have to come back. Yeah. We we're coming back just to get dumb plugs in. Okay, that was oh. the only reason we were coming back. We could have easily ended the show after the Robert F. Kennedy Jr. interview. He knows a lot too. You can tell. Oh, he is angry, man. He's a CIA, yeah. Bay of Pigs. We'll never get that chance again. <laughs> oh, the mafia. Oh, you can smell the gunpowder on his breath. Trained killers, Fidel Castro. This is the stuff this guy's telling us. And again, whether or not he's right or wrong, who knows? Because I mean, again, he might not be. He may not be right just because he's Kennedy's son. But to hear him discuss it, it's a moment in time you'll never get again. Never, ever. I would. Uh, I. I would have blown off the rest of the day. Everything Without else would have had to be on hold. That's a moment to where you got to that conversation. And his you, cologne, too. Do you smell his cologne? I, you have to I look too busy that looking into his and dreamy hear that eyes. And yeah. know that there's something... Whirlpools. Whirlpools. <laughs> of truth. You could have played a bit there, and you know that. A bit could have been played there. What, what You say we were going to come back. Why couldn't you have just played a bit? I don't get it. Eric, right, what's up? Well, well, why don't you too. care about I mean, how this? do you not think of that? I'm not, even, you're, I'm not shitting all over you, but I don't... I can't wrap my head around it. Beautiful eyes. Okay, fair enough. I fucked up. There but, you go. but wouldn't you? I don't know. All mm -hmm. right. I mean, I, I would have just at that point said the, the guy's got this. Fuck it. If Travis ended the show or played a bit, who cares? Soft it, voice. We have a there. Kennedy. Ten thirty seven. We have a Kennedy talking about Murder, his uncle's everything. assassination. No, we don't have a Kennedy. We have Robert <laughs> Kennedy Jr. Well, well, I said so uncle. Close. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. You can smell the espionage on him, bro. You could smell it if you were right over right here. Wow. He wasn't going to, again, we didn't, there's not anything it was we just, missed it information. Was just fascinating. It was just fascinating. To hear his take on it. Yes, to hear somebody that close to it discuss it. So you could have just ended the show with like a bit and that, oh, yeah. never come back? The yeah. Cubans, the Mafia, yeah. Train Killer, CIA, well, Fidel Castro, with that voice, and we're just like, we're all just, yeah. and then none of us is speaking, we're none just of staring at the guy. I was asking him a couple of questions, yeah. like about this or that. Well, Jimmy was uh, leading a little but, bit. But just like, just like, yeah. hey, to do, th yeah, and then yeah. let him talk. Yeah. And I, I asked him about Earl Warren. I went to, you know, Earl Warren, talked about Earl Warren. Now I'm the, all these names that you know from this thing. Johnson. Mm -hmm. And none of it was said that like we didn't hadn't heard before, but it was still just fascinating to hear. Yeah. And uh, sometimes in a moment, man, there's a, a weird thing that happens 
where by doing it, like you said, you break a spell. Well, you, 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 there's these weird moments you have where you, you're not going to... He was in the moment. Something is broken. He knew he had to leave. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't care. He was really enjoying just talking to us about it. He was yeah. enjoying it. He wasn't saying anything to be quoted for the mm -hmm. rate, you know, literally... Uh, do you, do it was have, a special. Do you, hey. you don't have Iraq to turn the cameras off? That would be hilarious. Because <laughs> here, one minute and we're back. And, <laughs> exactly. then, and then Robert F. Kennedy Jr. just <laughs> walking out. And he was Why? like, I wouldn't say this on air. That's what he said. Remember that? Yeah, yeah I wouldn't have played anything he said anyway because oh, no, no, he was but, talking privately. No, I wouldn't do that to him. But the moment where E Rock just yells, one minute and we're back, and yeah, then this guy that. just hustles out immediately and just drops everything he was yeah, saying. Yeah, he was right in mid sentence and he left. <laughs> He Maybe he felt bad, like, because he kind of shut it down. Yeah. We were interviewing. Ladies, all the, wow. Yeah. Johnson. He's ref. He's Lyndon B. Johnson. <laughs> Alan Dulles. Yeah. Who talks about rock. Alan Dulles? He's talking about Alan Dulles. He's talking do about Do you understand how names. terrible that was? I don't care. You, you should care. No. Either do it on the air or don't say we're coming back. And if you want to continue a conversation... Uh, oh, uh, during the no, break, no, then you say to wave it off and to, say we're done. Sometimes we're talking life, about the JFK assassination. Sometimes in life you have to realize that you fucked up, and not. I know that technically you have a job to I'm do. I'm not it. saying I didn't fuck up, here, that's but all I'm there also is. not saying I. I, I don't. To not understand care why you're upset on that. I think you should understand. You should care to understand what, what the implication of Robert Kennedy's son right. really discussing the Kennedy assassination, right. things that he's not saying publicly, to he, not understand, hey, this is a moment that was not planned. He actually said to us, uh, I would never say this on the air. He, I guess he doesn't want to get, get go right. down but the then, rabbit hole publicly. But certainly we would uh, discuss the conversation we were having with him. I, I felt like he was getting to the moment where he was going to say, I feel like blank did this. Yeah. And, I mean, then, yeah. and then all I hear is, one minute and you're back. Because you have been saying two minutes, one minute oh. we're back. <laughs> He had beautiful eyes, too. Gorgeous eyes. I'm yeah, stunned. Like fucking gems. I'd love to have one of his eyes, dude. Yeah. I'd put one of his eyes in my mouth, bro. It was beautiful. And you couldn't have gotten to say that. This isn't, wasn't like a typical thing where, hey, it was an actor talking mm. about that girl he fucked. This was one of those things where, again, I, I, he doesn't want to say it all publicly because he probably doesn't know yeah. who killed him. He wasn't speculating on who killed him. Mm -hmm. it, wasn't like, it, it wasn't that like he was about to go, and I think it was. Right. But it was just the idea that a guy this close to that event and that this involved in it with this much knowledge mm -hmm. of it was saying things that I hadn't been thinking so I was certainly willing to listen to it. Oh yeah. my god, you got a Kennedy telling oh, talking uh, about his Rob, uncle's no, not a Kennedy. Robert Kennedy <laughs> right. 